Oh, come on. That was perfectly off the beat. That was so nice there for the instant it was there. Um... Okay. So, yeah, that's all live and good. Let's give this a go. Do, 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 do. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Well, that was unfortunate. That was mistimed. game difficult. Dang it. Halfway there. Halfway there. Well, that was unfortunate. And pretty poorly executed on my part. That was too early. Indecision is not a good thing here. Oh! Wait. Are we saying I could, like, shuffle left and right to avoid that? There might be a pattern. Yeah, as long as I switch sides um, and then reverse the shuffle, I should be okay. Poorly executed. Oops. I went the wrong way for sure there. So the key is you actually have to dodge like into the uh, squares and just narrowly miss them. Not exactly like that, but, um, but if you're trying to run away all the time, eventually you're going to get ensnared between patterns that are going left versus patterns that are going right. Switching left and right there is a bit tricky. to getting a new record. I mean, I understand I'm nowhere near 10 seconds, but I keep getting closer to breaking my record. So, what could be said? Other than, I'm doing pretty okay. Also, well, there are a couple things that are really distracting about this. Um... One is I can actually see some jitter in the image, which is extremely distracting. Two is that the ambient light um, 
is distracting me from my monitor. So, yeah. Well, that's most of the way there. Oh, I should have dodged left. Woe is me for having dodged the wrong way. Unfortunately, um, just given real life circumstances, at this moment I can't commit to playing a really long game at the moment. Which I know in recent weekends we've been looking forward to my playing games that, um, I don't know. They have some substance to them, some story, some development, things that aren't just one discrete event after another after another. Um, uh, but yeah, until, I don't know, a lot of life circumstances are kind of leaving me in limbo this morning, so I need to uh, see if I can work my way through some of that and get some estimation as to how much free time I actually have today. And not just how much do I have, but when do I have it, and when can I have a contiguous block that I can sit down and focus on a game. Um, it's always difficult to be self-sufficient. I'm sorry, rather it's sure being self-sufficient is difficult enough, but at times where you actually have to depend on other people, um, it can be tricky then too to just, uh, some people are better at coordinating things than others. Whoa, whoa, what, what was that? I've never seen that pattern. I should consider myself privileged. That was really... Okay, so no, I have seen that. It's three on the outside. That's a really unique pattern. I was like, what was going on there? Shit. I totally wove my way into that. You know, I would be better at scripting a bot to play this than myself actually playing it. And I'm curious what discoveries it would make as it learns the game. Yeah, this is a really nice environment uh, for learning. Oh man! I was almost at six seconds ago. I think I could have dodged a couple of those and made it to six. I'm not so sure that I could have made it farther than six. Oh! That's the wrong way. <laughs> Doo -doo. Oh, huh. So dodging those is a little trickier than I imagined. Basically, for most of these shapes, you can't just hold left or hold right. You have to be tapping left or tapping right.
Huh. That's really nice how the base gets reintroduced there. It's not on the first or second measure, it's like on the measures leading into the chorus, uh, the bass gets reintroduced. Just really calmly and subtly. I mean, you often hear pieces where the bass is introduced at the same time as the melody. You often hear pieces where, okay, the melody will precede the bass, and then as the melody repeats, uh, as you have, I forget what it's called. I want to call it the development section, but that's not right. Um, there's a word for it. The recapitulation, where the uh, the melody gets reintroduced and does the same thing for the most part. Um, but with maybe some harmonic or... Um, well, I guess the bass is also a harmony. But there's some alterations um, that take place during the recapitulation. Oh no! Yep, I hit right, I should have just not... Okay, and there I should have been holding left. Yeah, I, I guess what makes this interesting is that space to dodge is really quite narrow. Um, and what patterns work for some shapes don't work for others. Funny, actually, you want to dodge these as close uh, to hitting them as possible, or get practiced at doing that. Oh, wait a second. But okay, so yeah, switching from one side, from the left side to the right side, isn't good enough for dodging that shape um, because you're not flipping up and down at the same time. Um, That whole rhythm gets inverted, not just left and right getting inverted, but the rhythm itself to dodge these things changes. Uh, maybe I should just play through the main game mode since, um, uh, whatever this is called, it's pretty damn difficult. Ah! Well, that's too bad. And something beautiful going there. I wonder what this chord progression is. It's certainly a lot of seventh chords. And it even resolves onto a seventh chord, which is pretty irregular, although um, in modern music it happens more frequently um, than in older music. So in this chorus, um, the drum um, did a quieter lead-in and then kicked it up a notch as the chorus repeated. Now the drum takes a bit of a break. Or at least the cymbal does. It's kind of distracting, actually. Um, Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Your gravity has the same um, tempo as the bass and as the drum. But what keeps changing is the fact that you get hit at any part, which may be on the beat, off the beat, whatever. And you don't get added back on the beat, or even off the beat. You just get added 
um, some in, uh, unchanging amount of time after you die. So while the temp, while the piece has a pretty steady rhythm, um, and your character also has a steady tempo that matches the same tempo as the piece. Um, yeah, you're actually the one that's causing all the distractions. Uh, shit. Should've, hold a, should've held right. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh. Held right too much. Held left too much. Oh, nice. Not so nice. Oops. <laughs> that shape's actually really difficult to dodge. It doesn't give you much room to maneuver. I got a message, but it's not the message that I'm waiting for. But let's check it anyhow. Take a quick break from that. Ah. Yep. As I suspected, that's not the message I was waiting for. And what's most inconvenient about the whole thing is that um, some sometimes some people try to make things as complicated as possible, and they can succeed in doing so, and um, eventually some corrective action does take place. Um, but, um, what it means in terms of today is that, yeah, okay, things will get worked out one way or another. I have, like, four or five possible different plans that um, could be executed, all of which should work, and none of which have caused anybody any inconvenience, except for the fact that people don't communicate with each other, and I have to be the communication point. Um, except I still have to respect social boundaries and whatever, so... Um, So I can only contact certain people between certain times and expect any kind of a positive response. Yet they feel that they can contact me at any time and that's just sometimes inconvenient. So it's a lot more convenient when I'm able to be self-sufficient and independent to a degree. I hope everybody's okay out there. late enough yet that I can contact that uh, I'll give him another five minutes or so. And I'll call him. And hopefully get something arranged. And if not, even nothing being arranged is another thing I have planned for. funny, I got skewered on both sides of the screen at the same time, more or less. So, like, unlike Pac-Man, this game gives you no room for maneuvering off the edge. So you have to be careful what you dodge into. 
Oops. Like that. Well, not like that, but... There's just too much to dodge. This is really a confined space. Your character is too large for the space. You're about the size of two of these diamonds. Um, whereas, contrast this with... I don't know. I was going to say contrast this with like the mini game that's part of the Donkey Kong 64 game. The one where you're on some jetpack and trying to collect parts and dodge obstacles. Um, there are a lot of games of that genre where uh, you have to dodge obstacles and collect things. But usually you're the same size or something close to it as the things you're dodging. Or usually you're not in a confined space like this. Um, I mean, this looks simple. It really isn't, though. Because, um, well, as soon as you bounce... Um, well, I guess, yeah, that's the other thing about your... Hang on. Yeah! Alright. Record, we're done. GG. Okay, but yeah, I was saying there, um, usually either you're able to maneuver freely, um, or you're the same size as the things you're dodging, and so being constrained isn't that much of an inconvenience. Um, with that Super Gravitron game, neither of those is the case. It's really difficult to dodge all the things. Um, let's see, is there a way I can, like, view... Just how awesome I did. Okay, there's all the cool people who helped make the game. And me. So that's cool. Um, yeah, let's go back here and just take a look at the trophy we earned. Where's my trophy? Not there. Up here, maybe? Hey, look! Complete the game. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with... Yeah, that, that thing doesn't look attainable by mere mortals. Um, oh, but yeah, I got this trophy. Last five seconds on the Super Gravitron. Last ten seconds on the Super Gravitron. And complete the game. But I also completed the game collecting all the things. Um, all these four would be pretty cool to earn at some point. I'm not going to try for that right now, because... Well, I mean, the game's hard. Press enter. Look what I found! Press action to advance text. It's pretty hard. I can only last for about 10 seconds. That's what she said. Okay. But yeah. I'm gonna take a break. Might as well just leave us in the trophy room during the break and come back and play some game. Maybe not this one, because I just got through, I got myself a new trophy. So, enjoy this. I'll be right back.